Cheerios, the ready-to-eat cereal made from nourishing oats and shaped like little letter O's. A product of General Mills now presents The Lone Ranger. horse with a speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a haughty high silver, the Lone Ranger. With his faithful Indian companion Toto, the daring and resourceful masked rider of the plains, led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. Nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. Let's go, big fella. I am Silver. Hey! When Bill that fast, the kids all shout, you can't strike that slugger out. He gets a hit because he knows he's got go power from Cheerios. Yes, he's got go power. There he goes. <laughs> he's feeling his Cheerios, Cheerios, Cheerios. You bet, Cheerios, the oat cereal that needs no cooking. Every delicious spoonful of Cheerios and milk is real muscle-building food. Each spoonful contains vitamins, minerals, and proteins your body needs. Yes, the good things in a Cheerios breakfast do good things for your body. Help you have healthy nerves, good red blood, strong bones and muscles. And mothers, every package of Cheerios contains a valuable silverware coupon. Be sure to save these coupons and use them to collect a whole set of beautiful Queen Best Pattern silverware. Get the whole family off to a good start every morning with Cheerios. Then you'll hear people say... He's feeling his Cheerios. The Lone Ranger and his Indian companion Tonto watched from the top of a mesa as several gaudily painted wagons moved slowly along a valley trail. Them plenty fancy wagons, Kimasabi. Carnival wagons, Tonto. Oh. Heading toward Meadville. Very few carnivals come out this way. And they're a great attraction. Ah. Me see carnival one. Yes, I remember. Perhaps we'll get a chance to go to that one if it stops near Meadville. Oh, me like that. We'll be in this territory for a while. I understand the hooded gang has committed several robberies within a radius of 20 miles. We'll try to get a line on them. We make camp near Meadville, maybe? Yes, let's go. Come on, Silver! Come on, Scout! That afternoon, after the carnival was set up in a large clearing outside the town of Meadville, the owner, Clay Beaver, sat in the office wagon talking to his concession operators, including a dark-featured woman of uncertain age, known as Athena, the gypsy princess. Clay Beaver was saying... Looks like everybody's got his concession ready for tonight. As usual, we start operations at 6 p.m. So far, we've managed to pull several jobs during the day, working as the hooded gang. And no one's the wiser. But we can't get careless. Thanks to Athena, we've been tipped off ahead of time just where to strike. That is good. Perhaps tonight, Senor Clay, another of the fools will seek to know of his future... And tell me where we can get more cash. I've been to all the small towns around here putting up posters. Also to the large ranches, and I've had the chance to get a look at the important men in the territory. The men who can give us helpful information. You sure have a good memory for faces, Clay. Right. As usual, I'll be pitchmen outside of Athena's tent. When I see someone I want her to get information from going into her tent, I'll tip her off with a spiel about the crystal ball.
That night, the carnival was in full swing, and the Midway swarmed with ranchers, cowboys, and townspeople from nearby ranches and small towns. Clay Beaver stood on a platform in front of Athena's tent, addressing the crowd. Right this way, folks, right this way, Athena, the gypsy princess, the beautiful woman who sees all, knows all. Hi there, Mr. Beaver. Remember me? Why, of course, of course. Banker Allen from Big Rock. You kindly let me place a poster in your bank two days ago. That's right. Hey, a right lively crowd you have here tonight. I just drove over to have a look. Oh, surely you're going to let the gypsy princess tell your future, Banker Allen. Only 50 cents. Uh, it's worth that just to see her. She's a beautiful woman, Mr. Allen. Uh, <laughs> here, here's the ticket. Well, I... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll take one. Fine, fine. Go right in. Athena's waiting. I'm curious to hear what she tells me. Get your tickets here. Learn what the crystal ball has in store for you. The crystal ball that tells the future. All right, step right up, folks. The town of Big Rock was five miles from Meatville. The following morning, Clay Beaver and several men, all wearing hoods, waited behind giant boulders. I found out in town the only stage in the Big Rock today comes from Pecos along this trail. That must be the one carrying the cash ship and Athena learned about from the banker. That's right, sir. <laughs> all right. That stupid banker would be surprised when he's cash does not arrive. <laughs> yeah, so far nobody's ever got wise that the information was given to Athena. Oh, she works carefully. She tells them so many other things about themselves, they don't remember half what's been said. Look, here comes the stage. Good. Have your guns ready, men. All right, let's go. Get up! Get up! Get up! The small town of Big Rock was under the jurisdiction of the Meadville Sheriff, to whom the stage robbery was soon reported. Toto brought the news to the Lone Ranger when he returned from town with supplies. Oh, scout, oh, fella. Easy, scout, easy, fella. It didn't take long, Toto. Uh, me hurry back to tell about stage robbery near Big Rock by hooded gang. Hmm. That proves the gang is still in this territory. What did the crooks take? Well, them get shipment of cash to Big Rock Bank. Oh. And me hear men talking in store. Them say nobody in Big Rock knew about shipment but Banker. And him say him not tell anyone. We'll ride to the scene of the holdup and try to pick up the gang's trail. Here's a look. A sudden storm came up before the Lone Ranger and Toto reached their destination. Oh, sir, oh, he's a steady big fellow. Come on, Toto. They took shelter in an abandoned cabin. While they waited, the masked man spoke. This storm will eliminate any tracks the crooks left, Toto. Are you trying to find their trail now? Not right. From what we've learned about past robberies by that hooded gang... They've struck in cases where they must have had advanced information. Ah. I'd, I'd like to talk to that banker in Big Rock. He must have let the information slip in some way. But he'll not talk to masked man, Kimasabi. Yes, I know. But if I disguise myself as a well-to-do rancher, I'll get by. While we're waiting for the storm to pass, I'll disguise my features and change into the clothes I carry in the saddlebags. <laughs> After the storm, the Lone Ranger, now disguised as a rancher, rode with Tonto into Big Rock. While Tonto waited outside, he entered the bank, asked for the banker, and was directed to Mr. Allen's office. Come in. Howdy, stranger. What can I do for you? I stopped in to see you after hearing about the stage robbery, uh, Mr. The name's Allen. What's yours? Oh, I'm a hunter. Plenty of them out here in the West. Mr. Hunter. Oh, sit down, sit down. Oh, thank you. Now, what's your interest in that hold'em? I might be sending plenty of cash from the Meadville Bank soon by stage, but these hold-ups have me worried. Seems to me that hooded gang finds out all that's going on somehow. 
If you talked to anyone about the shipment coming in, the they sheriff might... wanted to know the same thing. He came from Meadville this morning. But like I told him, I didn't mention it to anyone. Didn't know about it myself till last night, just before I went over to the carnival. Got a coded telegram from Pecos about it. Oh, who else knew that code? Only the banker and Pecos. And I destroyed the telegram as soon as I read it. Then, like I said, I went to the carnival. You didn't talk to anybody at the carnival about the shipment? Oh, of course not. Didn't stay long. Looked around, had my fortune told, then came home. Too bad the fortune teller couldn't warn you about the holdup. <laughs> I I don't put much stock in that sort of thing. Well, frankly, she was pretty good. Oh? She did say she saw a lot of money being moved somewhere. And I admitted I was expecting some. But she didn't know me or where I was from. Though she did hit the nail on the head by saying she figured I was a banker. She told you that? Uh-huh. Oh, but shucks, I, I figure she guessed it from the way I was dressed or something. Most of those gypsies are shrewd enough to figure out what a person does just by looking at them. But she wasn't curious about anything and didn't ask questions concerning the shipment. Well, sure mystery how that gang gets information. Sorry I bothered you, Mr. Allen. Maybe we'll do business together sometime. Goodbye. Oh, no bother, Mr. Hunter. Come in again. Goodbye. <laughs> The Lone Ranger rejoined Tonto, and as they rode from Big Rock, Tonto asked, You find out anything, Kimasabi? I think I have, Tonto. I'll have to make sure. Alan didn't tell anyone about the shipment, but he did go to the fortune teller at the carnival near Meadville last night. She guessed he was a banker and told him she saw cash being moved from somewhere. He told her he expected some, but claimed she didn't know him or where he came from. Uh, what do you think? I think it will be worth my while to pay a visit to that fortune teller tonight. It will be very interesting to hear what she has to say to me. Come on, Get him up, scout. We'll continue our Lone Ranger adventure in just a moment. Jenny is ten, and is she good? She's skip rope champ of the neighborhood. She's so quick because she knows she's got gold power from Cheerios. Yes, she's got gold power. There she goes. Huh? She's feeling her Cheerios, Cheerios, Cheerios. Kids, every delicious spoonful of Cheerios and milk is real muscle-building food. Each spoonful contains vitamins, minerals, and proteins your body needs. Yes, the good things in a Cheerios breakfast do good things for your body. Help you have healthy nerves, good red blood, strong bones and muscles. Cheerios, remember, is made from oats, yet needs no cooking. Eat Cheerios, the cereal shaped like little letter O's. Then you'll hear people say... She's feeling her Cheerios. <laughs> to continue. Oh, 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 easy, oh, oh, that evening, the Lone Ranger, still disguised as a well-to-do rancher, left Tonto in a grove with the horses, then walked along the lighted midway with a crowd. You'll be amazed! You'll be prepared when Athena, the gypsy princess, tells you what the future has in store for you. Only 50 cents, folks, just half a dollar. Step right up and get your ticket now. Oh, a ticket, mister, you look like you won't miss 50 cents. How about it? I reckon I can afford it. Here. Hey, look at the yellow bass. With that bankroll, mister, you can afford to buy the whole carnival. Here's your ticket and your chain. Thanks. Step right into that tent there. Athena is waiting, mister. Sure. All right, let the crystal ball tell you what the future has in store for you. The crystal ball tells the princess all about you. Step right up now, folks. Senor, sit down. Thank you, ma'am. Look at the crystal ball, senor. It is in there that I shall see what is in store for you. Ah, yes. There is a sum of money, a large sum, that will pass through your hands soon, no? That's very interesting, ma'am. Perhaps you know of such a sum. It is only that I am pleased to know when I have foretold something truly. <laughs> Well, now, maybe that crystal ball sees a cash a cattle buyer in Pecos is sending to Meadville for me by stage tomorrow. 
You know, ma'am, up to now, I never had much faith in fortune telling. Wait, senor, there is more. I see that you are wealthy. You own many cattle. A big ranch. Ooh, what else, ma'am? The crystal ball has clouded. If you cross my palm with silver, I shall be able to tell you more. <coughs> There's a dollar, ma'am. Having time to wait now. Thanks for what you told me. Gracias, senor. Be sure to come back. There is much I could say to you. I'll see you again. Adios. Adios, senor. When the carnival closed for the night, Athena met with Clay Beaver and his men in his wagon headquarters. Clay asked, Athena, did you find out anything from the tall rancher I sent into you? Si. Tomorrow, much cash is being sent to him at Meadville on the stage from a cattle buyer in Pecos. Ah, good work. Well, hold up that stage between here and Big Rock, where the trail goes through Wide Valley. Now, everybody turn in. We'll get together in the morning. All right. Meantime, the Lone Ranger had left the carnival and had joined Tonto in the grove. Then the two men rode into Meatville and stopped at the sheriff's office. Oh, sure. Oh, easy. Very big fellow. Easy. 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 Well, mister, what do you want? I came to discuss the hooded gang, Sheriff. Hey, what do you know about him? <coughs> Who are you? This card will identify me here. Let me see it. Hmm. Signed by the United States Marshal in Pegasus. It... Say, this identifies you as the Lone Ranger. That's right. But the mask, I thought you were... I've had reason to disguise my features and discard my mask for the present. Well, this Indian must be Tonto. Isn't that right? Well, I'm sure glad to meet you both. Now, what's this all about? The Lone Ranger briefly told his suspicions and suggested a plan to capture the gang. When he finished, the sheriff said, Then you think the gang is tied up with the carnival? Yes, Sheriff. And if my suspicions are right... The hooded gang should hold up the stage tomorrow, thinking a large sum of cash is being carried on it. Your plan is that we go with a posse to Big Rock tonight. Then you'll ride the stage as a passenger. We'll follow on horseback in case of a holdup. Right. Well, we'll do it. And I sure hope that gang shows up. The following morning, the Lone Ranger left Big Rock on the stage while Tonto, leading the great horse Silver, followed with the sheriff and the posse. Get up there! Come on! Kill him! The stage driver and guard were talking as the stage entered Wide Valley. You know, I ain't got over being held up yesterday, Jake. With that hooded gang popping up when you least expect it, the fella never knows what to look for. We were lucky not to get plugged when they stopped us yesterday. I'm thinking of giving up this here job for something not so risky. Well, won't be long now before we reach the end of our run at Meadville. Maybe those owl hoops are gone from the territory by now. I sure hope so. Anyway, we are jumping can't miss another hold up. Oh, not again. And look, the same gang, the hooded hombre, six of them. You better stop. We aren't carrying anything valuable today. But they'll rob the passenger in the coast. They'll plug us if you don't stop. Oh, ho there. Ho, ho there. Ho, 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 ho. Throw down that cash box, you. Yeah, sure. Clay Beaver, his head covered by a black hood, walked to the cash box, and while the others covered the driver and guard, used his gun to break the lock. Yeah, that did it. No. Hey, this is empty. Uh, we could have told you that, mister. Where's the cash you were supposed to bring for a rancher? As Clay spoke angrily to the driver, he stood beside the coach. Suddenly, he felt a gun in his side, and a voice spoke from the open window of the coach. Don't move, you. What? Who? Tell your men to drop their guns or you'll die. Hey, what's your... Tell them. For a moment, the Lone Ranger seemed to have the upper hand. Then Carlos kicked one of the stage horses with his boot. Oh, hurry, hurry, hurry. The horses suddenly lurched a few feet forward. Use your guns, men. Drop your guns. Oh, my... Caramba, look. Coming down the trail, the posse. We must get away. Oh, it's too late. Use your guns. For a few moments, the outlaws fought back, but they were greatly outnumbered by the posse. And finally, those who were not wounded threw down their guns. We give up! We give up! You all right, mister? Yes, Sheriff. All right, rip off those hoods, men. All right, come on, come on. Hold there. All right. These are the men from the carnival. Oh, that, that rancher. I don't understand how he gets. Hey, if I hadn't been so dumb, I'd have figured it out before this. The hooded gang wasn't heard of around here. That carnival showed up a few weeks ago. 
Well, we'll go to the carnival lot and search the wagon for the other loot this gang stole. At the same time, we'll pick up that fortune teller. Time to the horses, men. Let's get going. All right, come on. Later at the carnival grounds, Athena came to the door of her wagon when she heard riders approaching. Oh, something has gone wrong. <laughs> well, Gypsy Princess, come on down here. See, see, Sheriff. Reckon you didn't expect us to come back with your carnival friends, did you? I do not understand. What have they done, Senor Sheriff? We're looking at Crystal Ball of yours and find out. We're taking you to jail with them. All right, some of you men search the wagon. Oh, that hombre, the rich rancher, he is to blame for this, no? You're not as clever as you think, senorita. I'm not a rancher. <laughs> I reckon after this she'll lose faith in her own fortune-telling. We found a pack of new banknotes in the office wagon, Sheriff. Hundred-dollar federal notes like those that were stolen yesterday. Well, we got enough proof against them, I reckon. <laughs> Here's that crystal ball she used, Sheriff. Thought you might want to take that along. I'll just... Whoop! I dropped it! Caramba! That means I can no longer tell fortune. Yeah. Well, once that ball steered you right. You won't tell fortunes for a long time. Not on our leave now, Sheriff. We're going back to Pecos now that this gang is in custody. Adios, everybody. Adios! Come on, Oh, that handsome one. If he is not a rancher... Then who and what is he, Senor Sheriff? He's a clean, honest American who hates fakery and crooks, that's what. And as for who he is, well, I don't mind telling you, he's known as the Lone Ranger. Return in just a moment for a word about our next exciting Lone Ranger adventure, The War Makers. Friends, a good school system is one of the greatest assets any community can have. Education molds our future. By providing the best schools it can afford, a community raises its social level and contributes to its prosperity, as well as to the prosperity and security of the nation. Yet the high birth rate during the recent years has resulted in tremendously increased enrollment in our elementary schools. Unless action is taken immediately, your community will find that its schools lack sufficient teachers, classrooms, textbooks, and facilities. To help ensure a proper education for your own children and the other children of your community, we urge you to join and work with local civic groups and school boards that are actively seeking to improve educational conditions. You can find out what other communities are doing to improve schools by writing to Better Schools, 2 West 45th Street, New York, New York. Act now. Remember, education molds our future. Better schools build better communities. Smoke signals and the sound of war drums brought the Lone Ranger and Tonto into an Indian village to learn the reason for a bloody uprising. Their answer came in the sharp edge of a knife in the hand of a raving mad Indian who attacked the Lone Ranger. Ranger! Save you, enemy! Me kill you! Flashing yeah. death descends before the eyes of the Lone Ranger as the climax to a fantastic plot against the United States. The Lone Ranger's death would mean death to thousands of others. But, well, for thrills and suspense, be sure to listen. The Lone Ranger, a copyrighted feature of The Lone Ranger Incorporated, is created by George W. Trendle, produced by Trendle Campbell Muir Incorporated, and directed by Charles D. Livingston. Tonight's drama was written by Dan Beatty. The part of The Lone Ranger is played by Brace Beamer. Your announcer, Fred Foy. The Lone Ranger is brought to you by General Mills every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at this same time. Be sure to listen. This program has come.